In the Shadow of His Wings, Part 2. This current time of stillness and separation gives us a good opportunity to search our hearts on the matter of putting God first. Too often we're distracted from the importance of this. Subtly it's possible to find that other things may take the place of loving the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our might. It may be friends, meetings, church life, our pastors, family, work achievements or finance. There's nothing wrong with any of these things of themselves unless they become gods that come before loving God first and foremost. The first commandment, of course, says a similar thing. In Exodus 20, verse 3, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Psalm 91, verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. The key part of this verse is my God in him will I trust. Trust in Hebrew has the extended meaning of to have confidence in, to be bold and secure. Does this describe how we feel when difficult days are upon us? Another important word in this verse is refuge, which means a secure height, a retreat, a stronghold, It puts me in mind of Ephesians 2.6 where it says he has raised us up together and made us sit together with him in heavenly places. That is a place where the enemy is under our feet. Going back to the aspect of trust, Proverbs 3.5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. This kind of wholehearted trust eliminates fear. And fully trusting in God leads us to a place of stillness and rest. I leave you today with Psalm 46 verses 10 to 11 to read and meditate on in preparation for part 3. In the Shadow of His Wings, Part 3 Psalm 46, verse 10 Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The word still here means to relax, to sink down, to withdraw, to know to know by experience, to recognise, to have intimate knowledge of, to be wise. Be still and know that I am God. Verse 11, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. That's the same word we looked at yesterday. Refuge, a secure height, retreat, a stronghold a secure place in God. Psalm 91, verses 3 and 4 say, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Here we see trust again, under his wings you shall trust. And truth, what is truth? God's word is truth. His truth is to us a shield, a protector. Just with these few verses we see how we can come into a place of rest, security, Freedom from fear when we put our trust in the living God, when we put him first. 
when we seek his word and his truth. This is a place of our security.